All right, I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where sometimes you can see me, and sometimes I'm just very tiny and short next to the canvas. But also, where we work at Being the Artist, we've always wanted to be. Behind me is a painting I really wanted to do a live stream painting session, a studio made in another state, but I've run into an issue. Uh, my laptop is dead. My secondary iPad is all smashed up and dead. So the only the only place I have my reference material is on the iPad I'm using to make videos. So um, can't do a live painting session, even though I'm, and this is what's killing me, is I'm doing the wrinkles. People have oftentimes asked me how I paint cloth. And so I'd love to be able to show you by doing it but I can't. So here she is. We're part way through. I've been reworking her face. I've been doing a lot of the wrinkles in her shirt and highlighting, darkening, lightening, darkening, darkening, putting down dark lines where the wrinkles are and then highlighting with uh, getting uh, highlighting by using um, uh, titanium buff and lightening it as I go along. I've been putting wrinkles into her bib and shadows and things. I'm going to do the entire canvas that's hanging up behind her in the reference material. It's a it's a uh, uh, a, a canvas that has a small tree painted on it off to the side that the photographer William Bullard used when he photographed this young girl. So sorry, I'd love to do this in a live feed, but I can't because limited material. Anyway, I was having a conversation with a friend uh, last night and again this morning, and I can't I can't tell you I can't tell you his name because I won't. But he's 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 well known. Um, he he's well known, uh, but he has decided to change careers. He decided a number of months ago. He was telling me he was quitting the career that he's had for decades and but he yeah he's changing the career he's had for decades but has not had the success that he had he'd really been working for instead I mean just so this guy has so much energy talent energy super fun um but was banging his head against a wall like so many of us so many of us has, have worked jobs and careers where we felt, oh, we're just banging our heads against the wall for absolutely no reason. As we know, I, I walked out of a job in May. Uh, and when I walked out of that last job where I was being lied to and manipulated and bullied and be, I was about to be forced to work with someone, I absolutely said I cannot work with this woman and I, I have never said that in my life I said I cannot work with this woman she's horrible she's just awful awful and uh, I was forced to uh, either work with her uh, either swallow it again again swallow disregard my disregard myself as, as a human being and, and work under circumstances where I was winning again, I was not even close, um, either allow myself to be forced into that little box again, or I just leave. And I walked out. I walked out and I promised myself, you will, you're not doing this anymore. You can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of terrible work environments. So I walked out the door in May, and that's really put me in financial peril. Um, it's, I, I can't begin to tell you how much trouble it's caused in my life, but just thinking about going back into a work environment where I'm not valued, my talents are, are completely and utterly ignored, I'm belittled, I'm humiliated, I'm bullied, I can't do it. I get heartburn. I can't do it. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. 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 I can't anymore. So like my friend, I walked away from not really a career, but a lifetime of trying to do retail jobs 
like him, I have walked away from, you know, all that I've known to focus on painting. And I'm really excited for my friend because he is so upbeat and just so explosive. He has so much energy. I'm really excited that he's decided he's going to be a painter. He's going to take all of his time and focus on painting. That's that's terrific, but the most exciting part to me is that he has decided to shed every genre he knows and has seen around him and has tried to duplicate. He is totally shedding it. And he has decided to explore working bigger and trying to find his own uh, genre, his own way of painting and his own images. And that to me is, is so thrilling. Like so many people that I follow and, 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 and like as an artist, I've waited and waited and waited for this moment to watch him, to hear him say, I can't do this anymore, I'm done. I, I can't do this. And to see, for him to understand, to really understand how much he has to offer as a painter. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see his progress, you know, as he goes along. It's going to take a while to get from where he is to where he could or wants to be. It's going to take a while. But how exciting as an artist to say, I can be more. And that's what leads me to, to the theme of today's video. You've heard me mention my, my friend uh, and, uh, Andy, my ex-painting assistant friend Andy. And the magic words he said to me that help, that, that I use as a mantra sometimes. Sometimes I forget, but I want to remind you so that like my friend who's going to be focusing on painting, um, you can take it on as a mantra too if you've forgotten. My friend Andy and I were in my, my painting studio one day, we were sharing stories about, we were sharing stories about people who have made us feel small. And I was sharing stories with him that apparently were a little dark and he got very, very, very quiet. And he was painting next to me. He stopped what he was doing and he looked at me and he said, Beck, don't ever be less, be more. And I never had anyone say that to me before. As a person, as a, as a painter, no one's ever said that to me before. It's always been, be less, be less, be less. I want you to think about those words. Don't be less, be more. And Andy's little bit of wisdom that really lifted me and has given me strength when I've needed it. Because I, now I've shared it with my friend. I've, of course, shared it with you. But if you're feeling like you have to be less, or put yourself in a box, or tolerate horrible behavior, walk away. Walk away. Say to yourself Andy's words, don't be less, be more. All right, I think I came to my point. I'm not really sure. We do our best, but I'm gonna get back to painting her. And um, yeah, I mean, the past six, seven years have been pretty awful for, all, for a lot of us. Been pr really horrible. Um, let's take strength in the work that we do and take strength in Andy's words, be more. I think that's what I wanted to say, I don't know. All right, I'm Beck Lane, this is Catalyst and Company. I think there was another point I wanted to make that would have been made this more magical, but I can't think of it, so we'll end with Andy. Um, be more, uh, This so I'm Beck Lane, this is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, all the links are down below, including links to uh, my galleries and reps. If so, if you're interested in artwork, in original artwork, 
You can get a hold of J. Louise at Blue Egg Gallery, Mark and Andrew at Chasing Galleries here in Sarasota, or Rafael Coelho in Newark, New Jersey. All their info is down below. If you'd like prints, you can go on T Public, which I was reminded this morning I really need to update. I need to put more images on. Sorry, I kind of forgot. But you can go to T Public, see what's available. You can get uh, images of my work printed on T-shirts, mugs, uh, tote bags, uh, all kinds of things, pillows, pillows. Um, or you can, if you'd like to help support, you can send. Uh, you know, you can send uh, uh, through Cash App or PayPal. Oh, and I've also got um, the one between banks, Zello. The Zello? Zell? Zell. Zell. I never remember. Anyway, uh, the links to Cash App and, and PayPal will be listed down below. So any support is deeply appreciated. Oh, speaking of support, the canvas that this girl is on came by way of my friend and painter, um, Lori Childers. Lori Childers showed up one day just before the hurricane, before Ian, and said, I've got a present for you. And she gave me this canvas. If you'd like to learn more about Lori's work, she's a fantastic painter and a kind and generous person. If you'd like to learn more about Lori Childers, I'll have her links down below as well. And she's having an open studios this weekend. She's awesome. She's an awesome friend and an awesome painter, so check her out. All right, ready, Carrie? Here we go. Uh-oh, I'm getting shorter. Near, near, near. Ciao. Boink. <laughs>